Anthony Perez is a practicing attorney at Averick Law Firm, which has over 30 years of combined experience advocating for injured victims in California and Nevada. Let's meet Anthony Perez. Hello, Anthony. Hey, Tim. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for coming in. Please sit down. Yes, thank you. So, Anthony, tell me, how did you get into the law profession? Well, after I finished my undergrad at Chapman University uh, in Orange County. Good school, County, by the way. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I loved it. Yeah. Um, I began working with professional athletes um, and, and, and starting to work with some college athletes transitioning into the professional level. And I wanted to really become a sports agent was my dream. Ah. <laughs> so, Jerry Maguire style. Right. You know? So uh, after I started to get into the business, I noticed that there was, weren't that many sports agents that were actually attorneys. So that's what really wanted, you know, made me want to go to law school to become an, uh, a sports agent. Sure. It was there I realized, you know, my interests and my talents were better suited for you know, helping those who could not help themselves, and um, that's why I got into the personal injury business. Side note: uh, You've got kind of a, a love of sports. Um, are you, were you uh, an athlete yourself? Yes, I played uh, high school basketball, but uh, cool. <laughs> just professional, uh, no, no, no professional leagues myself. Right, okay. <laughs> now, uh, what do you enjoy most about your profession? Uh, like I say, said before, you know, I really enjoy helping people. Um, when someone, you know, I represent a lot of people who have been injured in an accident or any, a car accident specifically, and when someone's in, injured in an accident, the whole world turns upside down, you know. Um, they can't go to work, they stop making money for their family. Uh, their medical bills start piling up, they start getting calls from collection agencies. Nobody really knows how to handle that situation correctly. I really enjoy helping those people and helping them put their lives back together. And you know, generally everyone's very, very thankful when I do that for them. Now if a friend or relative or I myself are, are involved in an accident, can you share any advice for those that have been injured? My, the biggest advice I could share would just be to get the medical attention you need. Um, when many people are in an accident, they go through this shock where they may not feel pain initially, but it's so important to go get checked out because a few days later you may start feeling those aches and pains and you really want to get the, the best medical attention possible. Now, I've, I've heard that it's important to hire an attorney uh, immediately rather than let, just let your in, own insurance company handle it. What, why is that? Well, your insurance company doesn't really have your best interest at heart. They're in the business of, of making money and not paying out claims. So when you hire a personal injury attorney right away, they can thoroughly investigate the claim. I'll tell you right now, your insurance adjuster is not going to go out to the scene of the accident and start knocking on doors to find potential videos of the scene. They're not going to be interviewing extra witnesses. They're not going to take those extra steps to help you get the medical attention you need. They're also not going to inspect your vehicle to see if there's any sort of product defects that might have contributed to the accident. So there's so much more an attorney can do for you right away. And you know, most attorneys will give you a free consultation and, and many work on a contingency fee, meaning you really don't have to pay anything out of pocket. So it's, it's really a, a no-lose situation. Well, what's the biggest obstacle you face in obtaining the client's maximum recovery? The biggest obstacle we see is just uh, not proper insurance coverage on both sides of the plate. Um, it, would it surprise you if I told you that 25% you know, of drivers in California are driving without any insurance at all? Is that right? That's correct. And you know, in California, the, the, mi the, the minimum amount that's even required is only a $15,000 insurance liability policy. So if you get into an accident with somebody that only has that policy, the most it will pay out is $15,000. You know, we, we represent a lot of clients that have suffered catastrophic injuries and, and oftentimes wrongful death. And if, if you're involved in that situation, you know, we may only be able to recover $15,000 for you, and that's just not enough. So it's really important that everyone protects themselves with underinsured motorists on their own policy. Um, and most people also don't know that it protects you even when you're not in a car. It protects you and your whole resident relatives, all your whole family, whether you're in a, a pedestrian, a passenger in somebody else's vehicle. Um, it's really just an extra bubble of protection for you. Now, let's say the victim of that accident, the guy who hits me, they don't have that insurance. They've, they've got 15 grand. Is there, is there anything that you as an attorney could do to help at that point? Yes, uh, of course. Assuming you don't actually have that extra protection on your end and underinsured motorist, um, you know, contacting us right away, we can start looking into possible extra defendants. We can inspect your vehicle to see if there was a product defect that contributed to the accident. We can check that specific location to see if there was a roadway design, possibly a, a public entity claim. And all of these things have very fast statutes and evidence tends to disappear very quickly. So that's why it's extremely important to call an attorney or call us right away so we can help you. Absolutely. So yeah, w that's a good point. So there may be other parties at fault. It's not necessarily just the, the exactly. guy that hit you. Exactly. Well, Anthony Perez of uh, Averick Law, you've got a very powerful firm and I know you're doing a wonderful job. So uh, I sure appreciate you coming in and yeah. I hope things just continue on great for you. Yeah, thank you very okay. much. Okay, thanks Anthony. Yes, thank you.